and we're live. Hey guys, Jim and Casey here. So uh, today we're going to talk about one of our favorite items, the Tarzir Eclipse. And what this device is, it is basically put over your night vision. Uh, we'll go over the different types it goes over and it gives you focus. So if you know anything about night vision, when you put it on and you focus for near or far, the opposite is blurry, blurry as heck. So when we put this on, uh, you get autofocus. So it basically keeps the near and the far in focus. Um, and we used to do this with our covers. So we should put a little pinhole through there. But if it was too dark, it wouldn't let enough light in and you couldn't see anything. So what we've done is we have this device where we open it up and you can let more light in, right? And then you only lose a little bit of the uh, focus at the front end. But still, it's clearer than it would be if you had it off. And then the cool thing about these is that you could always have them on like I do on my 31s because I'm afraid to scratch the lenses because this right here is Gorilla Glass. So it's protecting your very expensive lens right there because all of us are guilty of just sticking your nods into your pouch and who knows what's getting on there scratching it up. So now you're protecting your lens. It's a uh, compression fit and it's pretty tight. All right, so we have two types of eclipses and they look exactly the same. We have the type one and the type two. The type twos have a little bit uh, tighter ring and uh, the difference is the type ones fit the old style night vision like the 14s like you see here. So there's a type one eclipse on here. Uh, fits the PVS nines, the sevens, uh, the 14s and the 23s. Whereas the type twos fit all the newer versions, the 15s, 18s, uh, 31s, uh, quad nods, all those. So we cover pretty much. So there's the type ones and what they cover and then as well as the type twos. All right, and what we're gonna show you, in case you wanna go ahead and show them without the, uh, yep. the filter, and then just adjust it for distance if you can, because it's not adjusted right now. All right, so it should be adjusted for distance, but you won't be able to read that, correct? Yeah it's, yeah, it's pretty blurry. All right, so we're going to put this eclipse on the end of it. Let me see that. And so the only thing that we did different was now this uh, is closed down. So now you can see. So we so now you got distance and near. There you go. All right, and that's like 12 inches. So that's the Charger Eclipse. Uh, not only does it give you autofocus, which is awesome for anybody, an assaulter, breacher, snipers, driving, uh, jumping. You don't have to look under your night vision. Uh, Helo squadrons are buying them. Uh, they're nav air approved. Uh, and one Eclipse is $240. But if you buy them in a pair, you get two uh, spare sacrificial lenses and a cleaning kit. And that's a $500 MSRP. We do have a lanyard. Um, to keep them on there uh, for extra safety. But as you can see, I am very confident myself, I'm not recommending this, but I don't have a lanyard on mine because they're, this one wasn't over tight, but they're uh, friction fit. And they fit pretty snug. But of course for jumping, I would have a lanyard on there. What's some other good applications uh, that guys can use these for? Like, uh, what's, what's, what's probably the best application you, you would you would use this for? One of the, the best application, there's like three of them that are equal. So one of them is driving. So when you're driving a vehicle, we got the glare of the uh, instrument panel, which we have to tape up and dull because there's a glare. Um, and so you focus for the road. And when you're driving to see your instrument panel or your navigation, whatever, you have to look under your night vision. Right, and then you have to turn on the light to see it. Um, with these, you don't need to do that. You just you're looking for distance, and then when you need to see, read something close, your uh, nav board, your GPS, or your instruments, you just look down and you look at them just like that. And you can still read. So you have the lights 
nice and dim in the vehicle. Same thing for jumping, for the units that do a lot of jumping at night. Um, when you're jumping, you're focused for like 20 feet away looking for other jumpers, but you can't see your nav board. You have to look under, and sometimes you have to take your hand off to turn on your light. So now you can keep your hands on your uh, control toggles and uh, look, look straight down and look back up and everything's in focus. Uh, same thing for breachers and snipers, especially breachers when you're dealing with something close in, cutting a lock, dealing with uh, an explosive. Uh, usually you have it focused just for 12 inches away, but when you look up, everything's blurry. So now you're looking nice and close, it's in focus, but when you look up, everything's in focus as well. So there's plenty of applications where you need distance and uh, your near vision in focus.